Uh, just a quick one from Editing Geeko. This video you're about to watch now is the first of many in a long series of playthroughs that I am doing. We're starting with the Bioshock series, preferably, uh, specifically rather, can't speak, specifically Bioshock 1, um, then we'll move on to 2 and then Infinite. Uh, I've wanted to start a Let's Play for quite a while now, and recently I've been trying to do this thing where I stream during the day, and then before bed I, I record a video, and then the day after, or sometime during the week, I take a day off from both, and I edit. So I want to try and get into a schedule and start taking YouTube more seriously, and I thought, fuck it, let's do it with my, one of my favourite game series ever, Bioshock. Now, just a couple of little tidbits a little bit of like oh what's happening and you know that so some of these are recorded offline but some of them are recorded online as in on my live stream so if you hear me talking um to something and you don't see it it's because it was during a live stream usually in the clips that i was live in if i know i was live like i said i just literally recorded all this and i haven't edited any of it but if i knew i was live i would put a little like uh uh text that says this was recorded live um, so yeah, so it's going to be Bioshock 1 on the PC at 4K Ultra settings. I recently got a new PC, so now I can get away with actually recording and playing at a high frame rate. Um, I am playing the original versions of the game. Uh, as you can see, these are the original um, games. If I quickly, because I know a lot of you are probably sat there going, well, if you owned Bioshock original on PC, here you go, let me put them in. Um... You would get the the Bioshock collection for free. Now, yeah, that is true, and I do own the remasters, and as you can see, I do have a lot of playtime in them. But there is a common misconception: the remasters don't add much to the game in the way of anything apart from getting the DLC. For example, Bioshock Two, I don't own any of the DLC, whereas Bioshock Remastered, I do. Now, I did. I bought Bioshock Remastered and got the original with uh, when I bought the games. Um, but I've been playing. I played the original A because I don't want to bounce from different games like non-remastered and remastered based on if they have better performance and blah blah blah. But also because of the fact that a lot of the remaster did was kind of nullify the. The original charm of the Bioshock series. For example, I'm probably going to flash up like a video right now of the difference between Bioshock One, uh, Bioshock Two, and Two Remastered, and Bioshock One and Bioshock One Remastered. It removes a lot of the lighting that made the game quite creepy and eerie. So I have decided just to play the original. Also, the originals have much more stability. Now there are a few bugs that I encountered in the original game on PC. For example, the audio cuts out quite frequently. Um, I've noticed that's happening a lot with my computer. I think it's my headphones. I don't know if the, the video picks it up or not. But, for example, the audio will cut out. Also, some audio goes quite quiet. And sometimes it goes quite loud. It's a give or take. I try and fix it as much as I can. And in editing, I will heighten or lower the, the audio. So, there's that. Uh, yeah, my audio is quite fucked. Um, but in terms of stability, the original games run a lot better. They um, don't crash, they have perfect frame rates, and funnily enough, they have more graphical options than the remasters. Remaster just sort of goes, do you want high or low settings? That's it. Whereas with Bioshock 1, for example, I could turn off the vignette, all that shit. Vignette? Vignette? I don't know how to pronounce that. I've heard someone call it vignette, so I'm going to go with that. So yeah, that's why I'm playing the originals, plus the originals just had much less bugs. I know, for example, Bioshock 2 crashes quite frequently, which is kind of annoying because I really love Bioshock 2, and I can't wait to play it. I'm actually recording this after finishing Bioshock 1, which I completed in 7 hours. So, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, and like I said, there are some audio issues. I'm sorry about that. Also, um, I'm a VTuber now, but I don't have my VTuber model on for these games, and that is because for some reason I don't have a p double, uh, I don't have a dual PC setup just yet. So my VTuber model was glitching and like spazzing out. Um, you'll you'll notice I have it on for one half of the game, and then the other half I don't. Sorry, I just yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the Bioshock series, man, and thank you for watching. Peace. Right, so let's get this started. Hopefully the audio is not too loud. Uh, I'm having an issue right now where I can't hear shit. As in, everything is so much quieter for me than on stream. 
But we'll, 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 we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Also, I have a fan on because it's hot as balls. And yeah, so we're actually going to do Bioshock. I'm going to do it on medium difficulty because I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm making this for entertainment purposes, not for anything other than that. So, if the audio is too loud, I'll turn it down in editing. That's, that's, you know, that's how I'll do it. I've also seen this cutscene a million times, so I'm going to mute my mic and just sit here and watch it. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. I'm drowned. I'm drowned. Come on, Jack. I think the character's name is Jack in this game, right? Is it Jack? Holy shit, that sensitivity. Oh, good heavens above. Oh. Alright, one is one is play withable. Play playable. Play withable. Play it. It's okay. It's fine. I don't know why. I think it's Jack though. I have like a really strong feeling it's Jack. This audio is loud in my ears. Fucking hell, that means it must be loud in your guys' motherfucking ears. Let's turn this down a little bit. That's a little bit loud. I don't know, I just have a real, like, strong feeling it's Jack. So, we'll have to see. This sensitivity is not good, by the way. <laughs> it's so fucking fast, I can feel it. I could do, like, a full 360 by slightly moving my mouse an inch. Uh, wheel. Uh-oh. Okay. The game had me worried there. It crashed a little bit. Right. Now, pre-warning, I might crash a few times in this game. Why, I hear you ask. A, because I'm running a VTuber program and my webcam sucks, and for some reason my webcam seems to destroy all computers, and I am playing a super old game at 4K. Max settings. And my PC's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not... It's an old game at 4K, you know? Jesus Christ, why is this audio so fucking loud? That's really worrisome. It shouldn't be like ear piercing. Dun, 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 dun. Plasmids! I'm Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? Yes. No, says the man oh. in Washington. It belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican. It belongs to God. Oh, gosh. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. Yeah. I rejected those answers. I actually, I actually pushed my chair down a little bit there. My model just went dunk. <laughs> I chose the impossible. I chose. I chose rapture. I've also just noticed there's no subtitles, so people will get pissy at me. There you go. Rapture. You're welcome. I also, I also need subtitles. I'm running this game at 300 FPS, oh good heavens above. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture can become your city as well. 
I'm barely moving my mouse. <laughs> That's a Rosie right there. Oh, I know so much. I miss this game. I miss Bioshock. You're you're witnessing some of like peak fiction, man. So, in case you can't tell from my accent, I am British and I am a fucking idiot, right? I really wish I could turn this down even more, but I gotta live with it. I'm British. And I'm a fucking idiot. We don't read here. We don't read. But Bioshock got me into reading. Right? You probably sat there thinking, how the fuck does a game get you into reading? It's because there's a book about this game. About the... It's like a pre-origin story of Rapture. It's about Andrew Ryan and I think a head engineer architect person building Rapture. It's a really good fucking book. I'll have to see if I can dig it out somewhere and I'll, I'll flash a picture of it on the screen right now. In, uh, in editing. Do that editing. Editing Geeko. Do it now. Um, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called like Under Rapture or something. Or, or some shit like that, right? And yeah. I love this game series so much. I actually read a book about it. <laughs> Which is so fucking stupid. But it's great. It was such a great experience. You can keep my gun. Just... <laughs> Alright, rest in peace, Johnny. Splicer female. I need a... Uh, I'm so sorry that most of this video has just been me dicking around with sound, but... That's much better. Okay, that's perfect, I think. Actually, no, it's not. I didn't even, all... I didn't even fucking save it, did I? There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually read a book about this this game. I think it came out after Bioshock 2, though. I think it's a more fairly recent book. But I actually read it. It's an actual novel and everything, and I loved every minute of it. It was a great novel. I don't remember any of it now. I might have to give it a re reread. So, yeah. And I aim to keep you alive. So, pre-warning. It's very hot. So my fan's on. I think I said that in the start of the video, but I'm saying it again. Oh. Why am I walking so slow? Secondly, um, I have completed these games multiple times. PS3... Xbox, PC, or at least three, four times. Oh, I had like walk mode enabled. So I might accidentally say spoilers. Sorry, but this game is like, I don't know. I don't remember when this game came out, but. As I said, I might inadvertently say, um, spoilers. So forgive me, but that's just how it be. And stay stronger than Hercules. Look, Mr. 
Mr. Bubbles? It's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute. He's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. So every cutscene, I'm also going to mute my mic and sit in silence. Because I've seen them all. I know I know them all, but I'm not going to skip them because, you know, YouTube video. Ah! Cool. Okay, that's how you do it. I don't know why, but I could have sworn it was shift to... Um... Fucking hell. What is this audio? Like, I'm actually struggling. You know what? I'm picking a struggle. It's going to be quieter. Um, I don't know why, but I thought, like, shift was to equip plasmids. This sensitivity is going to be so hard. One-two punch. The one-two punch. Hello. Oh, I cancelled it. Tell, tell Ryan I'm sorry. I'm not a bad person. I kind of think you are, my dude. Sure, you do, Atlas. Don't we all? I mean, plane crash, landed in literal hell on earth. Well, hell under the sea. Under the sea. Yeah? Yeah, life is a bit, bit tough. We're gonna stop that shit right now. Plasmids changed everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. Shut your mouth. Shut up. Shut up. Is that supposed to be an FOV slider? Or is that only for... Because I know there's horizontal FOV lock. Hmm. Maybe... Oh. No, I guess not then. Which is fine. I think that's in the remaster, maybe. Yeah, pre-warn in the early game, you're going to use the red shot. Charlie, where you going? No, Charlie. Charlie, where you going? What are you doing? Whoa. Calm your ass down, bitch. This has to be. <laughs> oh, kiddo. Oh, I made, I made myself drunk because I was picking everything up. Oopsies. If you spot a splicer in the water, hit it with the electrobolt. You know what? Give me a second quickly. So I enabled the controller. I'm playing with a controller now. Fuck it. Um, and now everything's been changed.
to the um the Xbox version of the um what's it called? What word am I looking for? The Xbox 360 like menu. Right. So Yeah. Which is fine, because this is how I used to play the game anyways, so it just means I don't have to like spin six hundred times when trying to turn to the left or the right. Right. So Also I get to do this. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? Do you think that's a child down there? Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever cool. you thought about right and wrong on the surface. Well that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters? We love Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants it. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs it. I love this guy. He's like, go, go. Oh, good heavens. Shut up, bitch. Boom. <laughs> Get him, Mr. Bubbles. Fuck him up. Do him in. That's the big daddy. She got it out of him. He keeps her safe. Well. That's one way of doing it. Ah! What's happening? What's happening to my tracking? Uh oh. Hello? What has happened? Well, that was odd. I did warn you. Oh. What the fuck? Hmm. Okay, for some reason, the, uh, the old, uh, VTuber model kind of dies whenever I load into... For some reason, this segment of the game. So, it's gone. <laughs> what a great video. To be fair, this is an old game, so... I really can't... Blame it. What the fuck is going on with all the physics? I mean, I was winning that fight. I wasn't scared. Oh no, what will I do? Which one of them bitches sent you? 
KGB Wolf or the CIA Jackal. Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Andrew Ryan isn't the giddy socialite who can be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell or thus the Jackal. Oh no! I live! I mean, nothing was gonna happen, let's be real. So, yeah, that's the first part of the game.